Hello, Christine Lucas here with Insiders Health. Welcome to Complete Mind and Body, where we aim to enlighten the mind, body, and spirit through the power of holistic living. In last week's episode, we began to explore the chakra system of the human body. We covered the first, second, and third chakras. Today, I'd like to move on to the fourth through seventh chakra. Understanding the emotional connections that lie within the chakra system can offer profound insight into healing and preventing physical illness in your own body. Beginning from the bottom, moving up, we covered the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus. Now let's move on to the upper chakras. The fourth chakra is the heart chakra. It's located above your sternum and goes up to your neck. This chakra holds unconditional love, forgiveness, bitterness, joy, and compassion for others and ourselves. We bring healing to the heart and the chest area when we truly allow life to be joyful and loving. The heart chakra plays a big part in our immune function because the thymus gland is located in this energy center. When you live in a state of joy, surrounding yourself with people and activities that you're passionate about, and you allow yourself to live happily and peacefully, the thymus gland secretes hormones that keep the heart and lungs functioning optimally. When the heart is closed due to loss, emotional trauma, and negative emotions, such as an inability to forgive yourself or another, the thymus gland literally shrinks. This is why in our culture, when a person's deeply saddened, we say they have a broken heart. Ever hear of a couple where one passes away and then the other has a heart attack soon thereafter and also passes on? Essentially, they die of a broken heart. Peace and healing is brought to the heart chakra when we can find love for ourselves and release the past. The fifth chakra is the throat chakra. This chakra relates to communication, personal will, and self-expression. It controls the thyroid gland, throat, mouth, ears, jaw, and neck. The throat chakra is the channel of communication of our emotions through words and sound. When you feel stifled and unable to express yourself, this chakra shuts down and so can your thyroid. Some of the other ailments connected to the fifth chakra are sore throat, tooth and gum issues, mouth sores, TMJ syndrome, and stiff neck. Notions such as suppressing what we really think, being inauthentically polite, and not wanting to rock the boat really weaken the chakra, as does lying, gossiping, and substance abuse. Also, when your personal will is not in line with that of the divine, you can experience health problems in this area. By learning how to powerfully and effectively speak your divine truth and express yourself in your full capacity with integrity, the chakra becomes whole and the healing begins. The sixth chakra is the brow chakra. It's often referred to as the third eye. It's centered around intuitive sight. It governs pituitary function and affects the brain, eyes, nose, and nervous system. Trusting your insight and allowing yourself to feel emotion and determine the best way to express that emotion creates health in these areas. When you suppress your emotion and stuff it in your subconscious, it blocks this chakra, causing neurological abnormalities. An open brow chakra is the gateway to our higher, truer selves. Finally, the seventh chakra is the crown chakra. The crown chakra represents our connection with the source of our being. It's considered to be the highest and most spiritual of all the chakras. The goal of this chakra is to exist in a state of bliss. A healthy crown chakra understands the ubiquitous oneness of life, that we are divinely guided and protected at all times. It connects us to the spirit world. If you look at traditional paintings of religious figures throughout history, they often have halos around their head. 
This represents the aura of the crown chakra, which links them to the source, their heavenly father. They have faith and trust in God. When you feel disconnected from the source of all being, it can make you feel alone, ultimately causing anxiety and depression or egoism. Recognizing that we all are part of something greater than ourselves and being at peace with that heals the seventh chakra. Spiritual awareness deepens our life and gives it meaning. This allows us to let go of the petty things in life and live with a higher, more fulfilling purpose. If you're experiencing a physical disorder or illness, think about where it lies in your body. Which chakra is that? Now begin to ponder the emotions and mental thoughts that I've talked about concerning that particular chakra. What positive thoughts, words, and actions can you adopt into your life to begin to reverse the damage of the negative limiting beliefs you may or may not have been aware of that are controlling you and making you sick? Begin with daily positive affirmations and watch how beautifully your life changes and your body heals. I'm Christine Lucas and this is Complete Mind and Body. I'm so honored to take you on this journey. Thanks for watching.